Sometimes, rather than using every value of a field for row or column headings, you can group the values of a field into ranges and then use those ranges for row or column headings. Let us create a crosstab query to summarize the age group of employees based on job title. On the Create tab in the Queries group, click on Query Design, click on Crosstab, add the Employees table, add Job Title. In the Crosstab row of Job Title field, select Row Heading. To summarize age group of specific category of employees, add a criteria. For example, Manager, Senior Manager, etc. In the Query Design Grid, in the Field Row, right-click on an empty column and then click on Zoom in the Shortcut menu. In the Zoom box, type a Field Alias followed by a colon, for example, Age Range, colon. Type IIF inside the parentheses that follow IIF. Type a comparison expression that defines the first range of field values. For example, suppose you are creating ranges for an age field and you want the first range to be 0 to 20 years. The comparison expression for the field range is age less than 21. Type a comma after the comparison expression and then type a name for the range, enclosed in quotation marks. The name you give is the crosstab heading for values that fall within the range, for example, 0 to 20 years. Type a comma after the range name. To create another range, type IIF and then repeat the same steps. For example, create ranges 21 to 30, 31 to 40, etc. For the last range, 70 plus, type just a name for the range. You don't need the comparison expression. When Access evaluates the expression, it stops evaluating as soon as one of the IAF statement is true. You do not need to specify the lower end of each range because any value that falls below the lower end of a given range would already have evaluated as true. Click on OK. In the total row, select group by. In the cross tab row, specify whether to use the ranges as row headings or column headings. You can specify only one field for column heading. Select column heading, add the job title field again. In the total row, select count and in the cross tab row, select value. Run the query. The row headings are the job titles and column headings are the ranges specified in the column header field. If there are no values in any one of the range, that range is excluded from the results. For example, 0 to 20 is excluded as there are no employees in that range group. You can also use the range as a row heading. Change job title to column heading and the age range to row heading. Run the query. The ranges are used as row headings, the title as column headings. You can also use the switch function. Here is the syntax. The switch function argument list consists of pairs of expressions and values. The expressions are evaluated from left to right and the value associated with the first expression which is true is returned. Use this expression. Each expression has a corresponding value which becomes the column or row heading. Unlike IIF, switch evaluates all the expressions even though it returns only one of them. Run the query. Age ranges are used as row headings. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.